you rap niggas is going to learn a very, very, very valuable lesson about lying by omission. In a world of glitz and glam, flashing lights and screaming fans, most people are unaware of the war that rages behind the scenes. And that war includes your favorite artist and your favorite songs. This is The Dark Side of Songwriting. Hosted by Naeem Edwards. Welcome to The Dark Side of Songwriting. My name is Naeem Edwards and I am your host. Before we get started on this rich homie Quan producer career situation real fast, let's just define what a lie is because this nigga is out here lying by omission. What is a lie? Obviously something that is just not fucking true. However, there are three different types of lies to my personal understanding. Number one, a lie being flat out, untrue, not true, saying something false. Number two, lying by just not saying shit or saying you don't know or some shit like that. And then number three, which is most people's favorite lie, lie by omission. And what is lying by omission? Lying by omission is saying part of the story, telling part of the truth, saying the truth, because what you're saying is not a lie, but you're not telling the full truth. You're not telling the details that would give edification and understanding to whatever you're saying. Why am I having to define what a lie is? Because rich homie Quan got on academics talking about Oh, I'm a call. Let me call out the producers who switch sides on me and they ain't returned. They left me on red and all this shit, right? Oh, I don't know. You know, I just wasn't XYZ. No, 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 no. You need to go back to that shit with the man who was murdered on the label that you were signed to first think it was a game niggas is not just ghosting niggas and producers is not just whatever because this video is more about music politics than it is anything else because we have to get it this out and understood because motherfuckers like to come through the door acting like they don't know why things happen you know exactly why shit happened politics and music is what happens and if you think the only thing more political than music is running for the fucking president, damn near. Running for the president and sports is 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 running for for office, sports, music. Like that is and then the streets come after that. But people oh the streets is music, okay? Then the streets and music is tied for what is most political. What am I talking about? What are you saying, Naeem? I'm saying when, what was his name? Whatever his name was, who got killed on that label that him and Lucci was signed to think it was a game. That is what it started the down spiral of his career. It, it didn't have nothing to do with all this other bullshit and niggas is playing gay games and all type of shit. No, 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 no. That had nothing to fucking do with why his career went down. What is what and still like that's now that's not giving me any whatever. What are you saying? When the man so obviously Lucci and Thug rivals from rival areas or rival gangs in the area they from. When that man died, Quan was over there. Thug was not signed to Lucci with with Lucci and think it was a game. Thug wasn't signed over there. Quan was over there with them. So even if you don't want to even if you because my thing is there is no play in the middle you have to pick a side in the music business point blank period I don't give a fuck what nobody's telling you you're not an accountant you're not the fucking parole officer you're not the judge you have to and even them you have to pick a side there is no coming in this bitch well the owner of my label got killed, and I know you rivals with them, but I'm over here with Thug, and we doing whatever we doing over here. No, 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 no. When you over there, that means you over there. 
when you on that side with them people, that means you with them. You signed to them, so you can't do nothing without them. He thought he was gone. I don't know why these fucking commercials is, is just running rampant. But he thought he was going to get over there and play. Because my thing is, before the man died, he doing this thing with Thug. They got all this big... You know, whatever we thought, you know, that was one of the greatest times in music for this generation, damn near. Like, it was a match they couldn't miss. The Rich Game album is damn near classic, you know, depending on who you ask. Then the event happened that sent his career into a tizzy is when that man got murdered. Now it's like, Juan, where, you, where do you stand? Is you standing with your label or is you standing with Thug? You you act you ain't come out and say I'm standing with Thug. So when you don't come out and you say you're not standing with Thug, even though I hate saying allegedly, but the other side was supposed to be responsible for what happened to what was going on in your professional situation. There is no I'm just from the hood. I ain't no street nigga. No 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 no. You over there with them. You one of them. I can't tell if, if it's if it's a hundred dogs in front of my house and and. Two of those dogs really don't want to attack me, but the other dogs want to attack me. I don't have time to decipher what dog is not going to attack me. I don't have time to individually pick out and see who's who's who. Nigga, fuck all those dogs. And that's how it is pretty much everywhere. As aside from people who know how to sit at the table and get money with people they don't necessarily like. That's like the presidency. I don't have to like the president. I don't have to like the governor. But if you're going to do something for me, and I can do something for you because you're going to do something for me, we can shake hands and go back to wherever the fuck we came from. This nigga tried to play the middle. You tried to play, and maybe not, you tried to stay neutral in a situation you could never, you were never going to stay neutral in. So now that we got that out the way, because I really got to go. The reason Wheezy in London on the track, and there's, a, there's more, a lot of them. Everybody picked sides. Nobody was fucking with Quan. period. Nobody was fucking with Quan. period. Niggas is not about to put their career on the line to stand next to a nigga who, one, plays the middle, but two, you on the side of the, le the least successful person. Let's just say all these other people thinking how you thinking. Why wouldn't I go over there to the thug? Why wouldn't I go over to where it's popping and I'm going to have more opportunities. Not to mention most of these people grew up together and shit. So Thug is one of those people down there from what I know. He was giving a lot of niggas opportunity. He was a lot of niggas like first break into the industry and first whatever and doing shit for niggas randomly and all that shit. No, nobody has those kind of songs about Rich Homie. No songs. Nobody has those kind of stories about Rich Homie Quan. If they did, why they haven't come out? You up here talking about, I want my respect. I'm the first who did it. Who gives a fuck who did it first, nigga? I did it better. I came through and did it right. I don't care who did it first because I came through and did it better. And I don't care who did it first because I came through and did it right. I'm going to go over to the nigga who did something for me. You on the other side. Fuck the other side. This is politics. The, and, and like I said before, or well, yesterday, politics could be, I am Young Thug. If you don't fuck with me, your shit ain't moving in Atlanta. I'm too connected. I know too many people. Too many people rather stay in my good graces than maintain the relationship with you. And that is exactly what fucking happened. That is exactly what happened with this nigga. Not none of this. Um, I took a one. Okay, you can take your break, but you can you can do that while telling the truth that you picked the other side, opposed to the side where every this nigga can't. I don't want to say he can't lose, but how many people are really, as far as Atlanta goes, tied in with thugs? And this this ain't no bash to this nigga, Rich Homie Quan. Don't give a fuck about it. But we not gonna sit out here and act like politics don't play the most dominant role in the demise of a lot of people's career. If you fucking with somebody that I don't fuck with, which is think is a game or the murder happened and it divides the city and you decide that you're not going to say shit 
instead of being over here with me, okay. If you decide you're going to be over there instead of being over here with me, all right, your career will suffer. You don't have to like it. That's just the way it is. Who cares? That's why you can't. You're going to have to get yourself to the point where you rise. Just You just rise. You can be somebody who can just rise above all the shit. But there's going to be so much shit you have to do in order to rise above the shit. Now it's the perfect time to come out because everybody in Atlanta is in fucking jail. So now you can come out and flex your elbows and tell your story and control the narrative because niggas can't come out. And niggas won't come out and say it. But niggas can't come out and be like, no, that murder divided us. This is the real reason your career took the hit. This ain't the real reason, motherfuckers, whatever. Wheezy and London on the track is just the two names we got thrown under the bus. Oh, they pick sides. Why would they do that? The average person saying, why would they do that? A nigga like me is like, yeah, I know why they did it because why am I going to stand on the side of the nigga that don't have no opportunities for me? Who can't tell me nothing? Who can't show me nothing? Who don't even know his own business opposed to the nigga with the machine? If you don't understand that, I don't know. What the fuck type of time you want? You know what I'm saying? So that's the dark side of songwriting. You gonna pick a fucking side. Whether you want to pick a side or not, you're gonna pick a side. My name is Naeem Elvis and I will holler at you.